Hi guys, how are you? If you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Jambin Jaroge. Welcome to my little space. Uh, how are you this beautiful, beautiful day or night? I don't know, whatever time you're watching this. Um, so today we are going to be doing a tutorial for this look. I really like it. I think it turned out so cute. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Okay. Bruh, girl shit. <laughs> So what I typically do is that I just use my hands to do this. I'm just quitting like a small amount and I'm just going to tap 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 on my face. Forgot to tell you that I already went ahead and filled my brows off camera. So we're just going to clean them with you guys. I like to go in a lot here. I've realized I'm having a lot of pimples on my forehead. And I never get pimples, so I'm kind of concerned about that, which is why I haven't put makeup on in like maybe two, three weeks. Although, you know, actually I wasn't understanding why I was getting pimples because I don't put makeup on unless I am on camera. So if I'm not on camera, I don't have makeup on. So I was really concerned. You know, if you can see, because this one was like the worst one because... I don't know what happened. I don't know what I did wrong, but I just started breaking out really, really bad. My concealer, and you know, I'm using this one by Illegal. This is in the shade Fawn. And this flat brush, this is what I would typically use to clean under my eyes. So if I keep staring down, it's because my mirror is down here. So that's what I am looking at. is also use the same concealer as a primer for my eyeshadow so I just go in with about that much so I'm using my beauty blender to further blend that in I was just thinking the other day of how far of how far I have come in terms of doing my eyebrows like I'm not yet where I want to be I feel like I still have a little bit more work to do but my god if you just go to my instagram and just scroll downwards especially when i was like in first day in campus madness madness i can't believe people just let me walk around like that i won't do my eyeshadow now i want to do the rest of my face and then i'll come back to that for my base, I am going to start off by doing my concealer. You've probably seen me doing this because this is how I typically do my makeup. I start with my concealer first, then I go to my foundation, and then I go to my contour. I'm going in with my concealer. This is my Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. This one, I use it for very specific areas. So I use it here on my forehead like that. Of course, it goes down the bridge of my nose and then here and then here before we go any further i want to color correct and i want to color correct these areas because i tend to get really dark around there so i am using my pro concealer again by elega so i'm just going to apply it right here right there maybelline fit me concealer and this is in the shade uh, the shade has worn off but it's usually number 40. I like this one because it's a little bit lighter than the one by Illegal. So this is what I use for my under eye. So I just apply it there and then I go up here and I also do that. So typically before I used to do the triangle method and then again TikTok. By the TikTok is such a lifesaver. I learned this hack, tried it obsessed with it this is the only way i apply my concealer these days but sometimes i really feel like makeup gurus just be doing the most i feel like every day i wake up there's a new makeup trend like i am just learning this one can we can y'all can y'all just chill just chill on the tutorials because i am losing my mind every day there's a new way to apply something and i'm just like what white white i'm losing it so i'm not going to blend that now i'm going to let it sit for a while just so that it can set um just so that it can set next i am going to be doing my foundation i am using my maybelline fit me this is in the shade 356 this is a warm coconut 
now guys i have tried a lot of foundations i tried a lot of foundations until i got to this one and i've never gone back number one it's affordable it's like a thousand bob if you buy it from like super cosmetics or from the official maybelline store at jumia usually like a thousand to around 1500 which i don't mind now when i say it's full coverage you probably think it's very heavy but it's not it's so lightweight ah maybelline you did your thing with this one sponsor me <laughs> foundation brush this is the one i usually use for my foundation and i find it easier to use a brush as opposed to a sponge but you know i was a die hard sponge user until i tried the brush and the brush is just better honestly i could never understand people who blend their foundation with brushes but right now i cannot understand people who just blend their foundation with just a sponge only because okay fine i do use i start with this and then sometimes if i feel like it hasn't blended the way that i want it to then i'd use my sponge but that's very rare but this is my uh, my foundation brush. I got this one from Kimol. Actually, it's a set. It's a set of like, let me show you. It's a set of like really cute brushes. And I've had them for a very long time. They do not, um, what is it? Has it toki toki? <laughs> they do not, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, they don't do that. And I've had them for quite some time, of, over a year or so. Yeah, and they're still in really good condition not even over a year yeah maybe a year and a half and they're still in very good condition i love these brushes life of me i cannot find these brushes anymore it's like they took them out of the platform but these were a really good set of brushes just start by applying like a very small amount and i'm going to start blending so the way i blend actually i'm saying a little small amount and i went in with quite a lot the way i blend is that i just tap it in just tap 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 so the areas where you have not applied your concealer that is where we are going to be doing our foundation makeup is such a journey like <laughs> the way when i look back at my older pictures and i just think about how i used to do my makeup i just laugh so hard because why why was i walking around like that why did anyone ever allow me to walk around like that well that's what i'm saying like makeup is a process and it's a journey and now that i have been doing it for quite a while i feel like i have learned what works and what doesn't work and i'm very cautious because now i know what works for me and what doesn't work for me so yeah sometimes i meet someone who's like oh i really like your makeup or i really like your shadow or I really like how you did your makeup today and i'm like it's been years in practice it really has been years in practice so that is the first layer i told you very full coverage i think i'm going to do another one and last one just to be my last layer i think i'm going to do a video where i sit down and i just laugh at all the pictures of myself and and all the videos and all the pictures of me just creating content but i think i'll do it with someone i probably have my sister on so we can really laugh at myself but that's interesting because that's growth because i know that five years from now i'll be like what the hell was that makeup this that i'm doing now hmm. that's it what did i tell you about the coverage what did i tell you about the coverage look at that hmm flawless flawless i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to start blending my concealer i am using this angle brush it has like this kind of an angle and i like it because it really gets into all the nicks and cracks and all these tiny areas so yeah we're going to use this but this one i typically follow it up with a beauty blender so i'm going to start with this and then i will switch to a beauty blender
but next i'm going to go ahead and grab my la girls pro concealer again i just realized i have like three la girl products <laughs> in this video i really love that product so that's just that and i'm going to be using this for contour this is in the shade expresso it's really dark it's like three or two maybe three shades no maybe two shades two shades darker than my skin tone and this is what i'm going to be using for contour I want a brown look I know what you're thinking a brown look again yes it's my favorite color on my eyelids so this is what we are going to be doing so I'm going to grab this one right here and this one so I'm just going to be mixing the two like a very small tiny cut crease nothing too much i am going in with my illegal pro concealer again this is the one in the shade born and this is what i'm going to be using to create my cut crease to be needing a flat angle brush a flat brush so the flatter the better and the okay guys that was the final look i really hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up uh leave a comment down below and i will see you in the next one bye bye don't forget to share with your family and friends too